Hi YouTube family my name is Vicky and in today video we are going to learn how to take a snapshot of EBS volume or the EC2 machine. Before we go into the demo let me explain what exactly the snapshot is and what exactly the requirement we have for the snapshot. Uh, and uh, one more thing here like in this video I am going to tell you how we can take the snapshot manually. In near future, I'm also going to create one more video where I'm going to tell you like how you can automate that thing. Automate in the sense, uh, let's suppose you have a task where you need to take a backup of a EBS volume on the daily basis. So how you can do that thing automatically, that is something I'm, I will explain, but in a different video. For this video, I will explain how you can take the snapshot manually. Now, if we talk about the snapshot, so snapshot are incremental in nature. As it is incremental in nature, so the best part is if let, let's suppose you are taking a snapshot on the daily basis so it is only going to track the changes what i mean here is let's suppose you have a you know snapshot of 5 gb and tomorrow there is a change in your ebs volume or in your volume for 1 gb it is not going to take the complete backup like 5 gb plus 1 gb what it is going to do is it is only going to take the backup of 1 gb so that is the incremental thing. Whatever the changes you have, it is only going to back up that thing. There is one more benefit with the snapshot. You can, you know, share your snapshots with the other AWS accounts as well. That is very useful because, you know, think of our organization, which is very big. They have multiple AWS account and where they need to, uh, you know, share their snapshots. So you can, they can easily do that because there is a functionality in the snapshot itself where you can, you know, share the snapshots with the other AWS accounts as well. It's just that you need to provide some kind of permission and after that, you are good to share your snapshots. You can also encrypt your snapshot with the help of the KMS. There are others, uh, you know, encrypted services as well like HashiCorp Vault. So you can also encrypt your snapshot. Now, once you encrypt your snapshot, the benefit you will get for the security and you know, there is no chance your data is going to be tampered. So that is the benefit of the, you know, snapshot. So there is an inbuilt encryption service, which you just need to enable. And once you enable that thing, you will get your snapshot encrypted as well. One more thing you need to remember in the snapshots, snapshot are always, you know, uh, specific to a region. So let's suppose if you have taken the snapshot in the Mumbai region and that is something you want to share it with the North Virginia region that is something you cannot do that Th there is an alternate ways as well that is something I will tell you but practically if we go by the books that is not possible in the snapshot now let me go to the demo for the demo we already have one of the machine created so this is the Linux machine which is there now let me go to the volume now I have this volume for which I need to take a snapshot, let's suppose. Or let me do one thing, let me take a snapshot of this volume, which is of 2 GB so that it is not going to take much time. But this volume is not attached to any of the machine. Uh, let me do one thing, let me take a snapshot of this volume, which is of 5 GB. The reason why I am taking the snapshot of this volume because, you know, it is less in size, so the snapshot will not take much time. Now how to take a snapshot? For? what we need to do is we need to select the volume and then we need to go to the action and here we have the option for create snapshot now in the description we can give the description like daily snapshot or something whatever you are comfortable with snapshot here we have the option for the encryption as of now encryption is not enabled but we can enable this thing as well and create snapshot now for that in order to check whether my snapshot is in the process of creating what we need to do is we need to go to the snapshot here now here it is telling me it is pending so we need to wait for some time so that it will get available one more thing here let's suppose your volume here this volume is not encrypted now how to check whether this volume is encrypted from this option this volume is not encrypted right so whenever you are going to take a snapshot of this volume that is also not encrypted but there is a way you can encrypt this thing let's suppose your original volume is not encrypted and at the time of taking the snapshot you are not getting that option to enable the encryption you can do that later on so how you can do that uh, 
for that what you need to do is you need to select your machine you need to go to the action and then you need to create volume from the snapshot and while creating the volume you have the option for the encryption encrypt this volume here you can provide your KMS key you can go with the default or you can provide your own KMS key and you know create volume and this is also going to be an interview question so always remember that thing so this is how you can take the backup or this is how you can take the snapshot of the volume 